right now we're going to have a look at some of the films that are coming up uh, in Life on Film, uh, on the Life on Film series as part of the National March for Life. So let's roll that promo for 2023. about the abortion industry. It was like a cult and mm -hmm. brainwashing that happens and, and like when you leave, they sue you. Today you turn one month old. I didn't know if I'd ever get to say that. To top off the day, 20 friends showed up at the door for a true surprise birthday party for you. They sang, brought balloons, and a birthday cake. It was beautiful chaos. Dude, is that your birth mom? Imagine if you could change society's stance on abortion. How do you feel about the issue of abortion? I think in some situations, it can be necessary. So have you just changed your mind about abortion? Yeah. Would you have a vote for someone who was for the killing of children in the womb? No. Hundreds of unwanted babies are abandoned on the streets of Seoul, South Korea every year. Tragic loss of life moved a pastor said to set up a way for saving unwanted babies. So you can see uh, some exciting, some really um powerful, powerful films that are going to be coming your way uh, in 2023. Um, you saw Unthinkable uh, in January in conversation with Abby Johnson and Drew Martin about her new documentary, Women Who Are Leaving the Abortion Industry After Coming to Terms with the Reality of Abortion and the Harm It Does to Babies and Mothers. And in just a few weeks, uh, on February 12th, we have a double feature in conversation with live action as we present their new short film, Along for the Ride. Uh, and 99 Balloons, uh, it's quite the story, a beautiful, beautiful story, very sad, but very meaningful life in all its stages, however long, however short, such a beautiful life to celebrate as they did in 99 Balloons. That's from Igniter Media. And then on March 12th, a very special online screening of the feature film, Life Mark. We've done so much talking about the film. And of course we screened it last year during March for Life week. This time we're gonna have a national online screening of Life Mark uh, featuring Kurt Cameron, Beautiful, beautiful story, uh, the real story of David Scotton, uh, played out in dramatic form in this uh, incredible film called Life Mark, which we will be running on March 12th. So mark that on your calendar, 8 p.m. That's the full feature. Um, and we'll do a little uh, rebroadcast of some of the uh, uh, some of the more memorable moments uh, with Kurt Cameron uh, and the Kendrick Brothers, the producers of that film. April 2nd, 180, the film. If you haven't seen it, uh, you'll want to be tuning in that night. It's from Living Waters. Uh, Mark Spence, the director, editor uh, of, uh, of the films, uh, he'll give us a sneak preview of what is it. It's a new film that will be coming out shortly, and you'll get the first sneak peek uh, of it. Uh, that's from Living Waters, and that'll happen on April 2nd. Uh, as we run 180, it's a uh, it's about a half hour uh, half hour long film, but you'll get that sneak peek of what is it May seventh, uh, probably the biggest film for us this year. Uh, the screening of the Dropbox. It will be online. If you remember that film from a few years ago, if you haven't seen it, beautiful beautiful story, um, and uh, you, you won't want to miss that. That's from Focus on the Family. And uh, we'll just run that trailer for you right now so you know what's coming up in May. The Dropbox. Let's have a sneak peek. And then I was weeping. I always cry when I'm angry. And she said, why are you crying? It's only orphan. Oh, 
The baby box is South Korea's first and only box to collect abandoned infants. Hundreds of unwanted babies are abandoned on the streets of Seoul, South Korea, every year. Tragic loss of life moved the pastor said to set up a way for saving unwanted babies. 위험함 속에서 버려진 아이들 있고 또 길거리에서 그래서 이제 베이비 박스라는 것을 만들게 됐고 그리고 정말 안 들을 줄 알았어. 어떤 아이들은 목사님 이 아이하고 죽으려고 약약 탔습니다. 약 탔습니다. 예, 그러지 마라. 그러면 너도 오고 애기도 와라. 길이 엄마의 엄마의 글입니다. 제 아들을 부탁드립니다. 찾지 말아 주십시오. 죄송합니다. 정말로 죄송합니다. 이 길이 이 길이 이 길이 영어 이름은 빅토리. 빅토리, 빅토리. 그래서 그 아이들이 이 세상에 필요 없는 존재들이 아니고. 하나님이 쓰시고자 했다 이렇게 보내셨습니다. 이게 이제 예, 가정에 20명이나 한그 아이들이 좁은 공간에서 많이 살고 있으니까 사람 공동체가 다른 것은 아버지 어머니가 아, 있기 때문이죠. 또 하지 않는 일 그리고 버려질 수 있고 또는 나라에서 하지 않고 있는 이런 일들을 하시는 Even if there's just one person that really cares about children. It makes such a difference. They're just human beings, just like anyone else. They have the right to live. This is not a problem in the world. I think that the children are in the world, so they are in the world. But these children, they are helpless, they are voiceless. Who is going to speak for them? I will be able to speak for them again and again. 하나님 이 아이들 위해서 내 죽겠습니다. 믿음 소망 사랑 중에 시가 그그 그 중에 제일은 사랑의 영역입니다. So that's the Dropbox. Make sure you mark your calendars. That's May 7th online. Can be a beautiful, beautiful night. We'll have a special guest that that night. We'll tell you about that a little bit later. The historic overturning of Roe v. Wade announced to the world. Life will win if we stand firm. But the attack on life is far from over. In Canada, 300 babies in the womb are killed each day, increasingly by chemical means, while our Prime Minister muses about making abortion a right. Euthanasia is exploding, and soon people with mental illness could be eligible to request it to end their lives. And now, infanticide is being considered for children with severe disabilities. If there was ever a time to stand firm for life, that time is now. On May 11th, Canadians from all walks of life will come to Parliament Hill to stand firm. For babies in the womb. For mothers in crisis pregnancies. For those living with a disability for the elderly in hospitals and care homes. Life will win if we stand firm.